Mombasa, six hours ago. On August 8th, the Japanese Meteorological Agency issued its first ever mega quake alert. After a magnitude 7.1 earthquake rocked the Miyazaki prefecture in southern Japan earlier that day, the Miyazaki quake injured at least 16 people and generated minor tsunamis up to 50 centimeters tall that reached the country's coastline about half an hour later. The Miyazaki quake's point of origin, or hypocenter, was located offshore and about 25 kilometers underground near a seafloor depression called the Nankai Trough. A large fault zone sits beneath the trough, and experts are concerned that the Miyazaki Tembler may have altered the distribution of stress along it, potentially paving the way for a larger magnitude 8 or greater mega quake. The Japanese government has estimated that such a Tembler could kill hundreds of thousands of people. The possibility of a large-scale earthquake is considered to be relatively higher than under normal conditions the JMA said, in an advisory accompanying the Thursday alert. The megaquake alert is expected to remain in effect for about a week, though the agency advises residents across southern Japan to remain wary and prepared, even after the period passes. How high is the risk for a megaquake now? The chance of a larger quake occurring in the area in the next week or so is about one in several hundred times, Seismologist Naoshi Hirata of the University of Tokyo said Thursday at a joint news conference with the JMA. The chance of a magnitude 8 or 9 earthquake occurring in the Nankai Trough within the next 30 years is 70 to 80 percent, he also said. There's this long-term risk that's always there, but there's a short-term elevation of that risk because of the magnitude 7.1, says geophysicist Morgan Page of the U.S. Geological Survey in Pasadena, Calif. This short-term risk becomes less every day that another earthquake doesn't occur. Japan is no stranger to megaquakes, and Thursday's alert is not an indication that long-term trends of seismic activity are changing in Japan. The alert was the second highest type of alert under the Nankai Trough Earthquake Extra Information Protocol, which was introduced in 2017. The protocol is activated when a tembler of magnitude 6.8 or greater strikes along or near the Nankai Trough. The highest type of alert is triggered by a magnitude 8.0 or greater quake. The trough marks where the Philippine plate slides under the Eurasian plate. At the interface of these two plates is a massive fault zone called the Nankai Megathrust, which hosts earthquakes of magnitude 8 or greater every 100 to 150 years. The most recent such quake occurred in 1946 and was around magnitude 8.1. On Friday, a magnitude 5.3 tembler struck about 10 kilometers beneath the Kanagawa prefecture near Tokyo, outside of the Nankai Trough mega quake alert area. So we have another big quake right where they've built three new nuclear power plants and Again, off the coast of China, five new nuclear power plants, not clean energy, very, very dirty. God bless you and yours. Please share it, subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless.